All right, today we're going to take a look at if Bitcoin is overheated, we're going to focus on the daily chart. And from a weekly charting perspective, you can check out links here, what I think is going to happen within this week and the next week and the possibilities of both Ethereum and Bitcoin throughout the next three weeks. So I'm going to link that up here. So go ahead and check that out. That'll give you a greater context for my video yesterday of what's happening within the daily chart today. So if you haven't watched that video and you're new, go ahead and check that out. And also new viewers, here's what my channel does for you. You are getting two points of three within the triangle of crypto information that you need on most crypto YouTube channels. Uh, you're getting project fundamentals and news-based sources. But my, what my channel does uh, both for altcoins and Bitcoin and Ethereum is I help you understand a statistical basis. Do I have an edge when I click around with my money? And more importantly, that will help you convert yourself from a buyer and a prayer who watches stuff go up and all the way down because you're scared to sell a little bit of your uh, crypto. And I try to convert you into a profit pimp. So if that sounds good, let's get going. And returning viewers, stop everything you're doing and smash that like button, punch it in the face, flip it off, at least give it a love tap something and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think about this video. If you think we're going to get a correction or if a short squeeze is in way, I personally think that Bitcoin could fly up to past uh, 70K before a pullback, a massive short squeeze and then a bull trap. But I'm not going to cover that. I want to see here today is uh, Bitcoin overheated. And uh, here we go. And leave me a comment too to help out the algo so I continue making videos for you. So what I have pulled up here uh, is the daily chart on Bitcoin with only two EMAs. One is the daily 21 and one is the daily uh, 55. What I'm going to be doing here is measuring from, let me zoom way in here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to be doing is measuring uh, previous runs. So let's go to a previous run. Um, how far from both the daily 21 and the 55 before a little pullback happened, how far up uh, Bitcoin was from where the EMA was the day prior. So, for example, if I want to measure this, uh, like this wick here or even this wick, this big boy here, I would measure where the EMA was from the candle prior and just do a percentage basis up. All right. So let's, uh, I guess we can measure it from this candle here because that essentially that big move initiated a pullback. So I'm going to go to the previous candle, go straight down and go up there. So 20% from the uh, 21 and 30% from the 55. So I'll just put 20, 30 here. All right. And then we'll go up to another pullback. Like, let's just say this initiated a pull. Eh, let's say this one essentially initiated a pullback. So I'm going to go from the previous candle. 20. And 35. And then we're going to be, be able to compare it to current price action. So this pump up here, uh, let's say this essentially initiated the uh, kind of made it so it needed a pullback. So I'm going to measure from this candle here for both, uh, both assets. I mean, both assets for both uh, EMAs, 27, 20. Uh, yeah, let's just call that 27 and 41, 27 and 41. All right, let's take a look at this one. So I measure from this candle right there and 36 64, 36 and 64. And the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, a lot of the stokes have been up, you know, they look tired and all that kind of stuff. But I want to show you from a percentage basis, you know, there are averages here. Like there, there is a law of averages. So let's go to, let's measure from that candle right there. The day before the pullback. 43. Wow, it's way down there. 43 and 75. <clears throat> so that was one run up and you could see how the numbers get bigger very clearly. The higher up the run you go, you see that 2035, 2741. 
they got bigger the whole time. So that moves them the means the move was speeding up, speeding up, speeding up. This was pretty parabolic. I don't expect Bitcoin to get into these these realms of numbers, but it could. You know, it's a it's a data point, right? So let's take another look. Let's just do one more, you know, moderate pump up here. Um, do a couple here. Watch this. So let's go. Let's count it from there. Um, and that didn't even get much of a pullback, uh, really. So I might not measure from there. I will measure from that point right there. So let's go 28 and 51. All right, now let's go to current price action. I'm essentially providing evidence that this this can go a lot higher before even touching the daily 10. Uh, and I think uh, two videos ago, I let you know, hey, Bitcoin has wicked down and touched the daily 10 uh, six times in the last couple of weeks. That is all it needs to really give a big push and not come back for a while. Um, and then so this is another you know data point of evidence here. So let's take a look. So uh, prior candle. Let's call it 16. I'm rounding up. Sixteen and twenty-seven. All right, so let's zoom out and look at these numbers, and we let you decide if you think this is too hot. Pull these out, and take a look. <clears throat> is Bitcoin overheated? I don't think so. It's not, I don't even think it's close to overheated. So let's, let's pick, um, let's pick a moderate number. Uh, so this one here and this one here are about the same. So let's say that is kind of like a rough average. Okay. Cause this technically is in the middle. So it's, it's sort of kind of a rough average of, um, of these. And so this push up was essentially a push as strong as the average here, um, you know, within there, the middle of that move. So the strength, the highest strength of this move was the medium point of this whole like, massive melting up. That was honestly insane. Um, that was totally insane. So let's take a look where that would take Bitcoin. Let's uh, let's take let's take twenty seven and then forty one fifty one. Let's take let's take twenty seven and a half percent. So tomorrow's scan. Let's do it from right now. Seventy thousand six hundred. All right. And how far from the daily fifty five would that be? Forty one. So you would have what did I say? Twenty seven and a half and forty one. So you would have twenty seven and a half. at that line. Now zoom out. That'd be pretty similar just to this one and this one. Going all the way past 70K. And once it gets there, right, let's say that would be getting there today. These numbers would be a lot lower, assuming, you know, it gets there in a few days. And that means this is marching up. So let's project this. Let's project these up. And let's say it gets there October 27th in a week, right? Look, it still wouldn't be that high. So let me let me delete this. That would be there if it got today, right? So let's say it gets there on the 27th. It would still be 15 and a half or so 16% round up. Sixteen and twenty nine. If it took its time to get there. Now zoom out, take a look at sixteen and twenty nine versus these other bigger numbers. So Bitcoin from a percentage basis away from EMAs is pretty far from overheated. Now, if you look at the daily stokes, are have they been up there a bit? Yeah. 
is it due to do one of these numbers? So if you could see where I'm starting, actually, let me make Stokes a little higher. So Bitcoin's been up there a bit. It hasn't tested, like a healthy daily retest of this would be pretty good. And that would be kind of like waiting, you know, maybe not even a big dump at all. Like it just kind of goes sideways and up for a while, right? Uh, and maybe, maybe sideways and down slowly and rest back down on 62K after pumping up. Like it, it does, it does look like it needs to recheck this. However, Stokes is just one indicator, and the um, the percentage from the EMA saying is this could stay up for quite a while. Are the, is the RSI overheated? Not really. It's just so daily RSI is just now entering the bullish control zone. Just now entering. It, it's got a long way to go. I mean, look how during these other pushes, look how high it went. It went up to the white line twice. Right. Great. I got chickens uh, walking around close to my office. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. Um, but anyway, Bitcoin does not look overheated. And if you um, have not watched my Bitcoin video from yesterday, uh, from a weekly candle standpoint, I explain another um, uh, point of evidence that this is not overheated uh, within a weekly context. It's very far from overheated. That's what I got for you today. If you liked what you saw here, uh, go ahead and any of your new hit subscribe, hit that bell so you can stay in the know and feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord private community links uh, in the description section. And we'll see you next time.